There's been a history in the UK of affordability problems with mortgages that affected many millions of households in periods when interest rates went up in a way that people hadn't anticipated. I was asked by the government to undertake an assessment of whether there were ways in which the market could be made to work better. Well, firstly, to try and uh, understand better the process that households went through with mortgage lenders in deciding what kind of mortgage they wanted and how much they were able to borrow. And I think what that revealed was a, a tendency for households to focus very much on whether they could afford the initial monthly payment at whatever the level of interest rates was at the time they took out a mortgage and perhaps to pay relatively little attention to what would happen if interest rates were to rise quickly. People had a tendency to think, well, tomorrow can kind of take care of itself. If I can pay the interest on the mortgage today, hopefully interest rates won't move up in the near term, by which time maybe my income will be a bit higher. I might have repaid a bit of the mortgage and I can handle the problem. Well, part of the recommendations I made in the sort of mid 2000s were that households should have a more serious discussion with lenders about what would happen if interest rates were to go up sharply. The Financial Conduct Authority, some years later, began to introduce rules, which in a sense forced that kind of discussion between mortgage lenders and people who wanted to borrow about how households would manage in a world in which interest rates were to increase sharply. And now anybody taking out a mortgage for the first time goes through a lengthy discussion and assessment with the lender of whether or not they could afford the mortgage if interest rates were to rise sharply. That's a big change from the world we were in before those regulations were changed some years ago.